In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a LED dimmer circuit. So what we're going to use is a 9 volt battery. We have our current limiting resistor, RS. And R is a variable resistor known as a potentiometer. For those of you who may not be familiar with potentiometers, I do have another video on that topic. So I recommend uh, going to the YouTube search bar, type in potentiometers, organic chemistry tutor, and it should come up. So attached to the potentiometer is a green LED with a voltage drop of two volts. Now the brightness of the LED is controlled by the potentiometer. The potentiometer is a variable resistor. You can tune it to control the resistance of the circuit. As the resistance of the circuit increases, the current flowing in the circuit decreases. And so the brightness of the LED will decrease. By decreasing the resistance using the potentiometer, the current will increase and the brightness is going to go up. So therefore you can adjust the brightness of the circuit by controlling the potential meter. RS prevents too much current from flowing to the LED because you can adjust the potential meter where the resistance is almost zero and if you don't have RS to limit the amount of current flowing through the LED you can damage it. So you need RS to prevent that from happening. Now let's talk about how we can calculate the minimum and the maximum current that can flow in a circuit. So let's set RS to 510 ohms. And the variable resistor, we're going to use a 20 kilo ohm potential meter for that. So with this information, go ahead and calculate the minimum and the maximum current that can flow in the LED. The current that flows in the LED is going to be the voltage of the battery minus the voltage drop of the LED, which we'll call VD for the voltage across that diode, that's a light emitting diode, divided by the total resistance in the circuit. So the maximum current is going to be the voltage of the battery, which is 9 volts, minus the voltage of the LED, which is 2 volts. To get the maximum current, we need to use the minimum resistance. The minimum resistance of the potential meter is zero, ideally speaking. So it's zero plus 510. The maximum resistance is going to be the maximum resistance of the potential meter, which is 20K plus 510. So that's 20,000 plus 510. So that's 20,510 or 20.51k. So we need to use the minimum resistance to get the maximum current. So that's going to be 510. 7 volts divided by 510, that's equal to 0 0.0137 amps. If you multiply that by 1000, this will give you the current in milliamps. So the maximum current that can flow in a circuit is 13.7 milliamps. Most LEDs can sustain a current of 20 or 30 milliamps, so this is not bad. Now let's calculate the minimum current in this circuit. So it's going to be 9 volts minus 2 volts divided by the maximum resistance, 20.51 kilo ohms. So 7 divided by 20.51 kilo ohms, this will automatically give you the answer in milliamps. So it's 0.341 milliamps. So the current will vary between these two. At a current of 0.341 milliamps, the LED is going to be very dim. But at a current of 13.7 milliamps, it's going to be very bright. So by adjusting the setting of the potentiometer from its minimum value to its maximum value, you can adjust the current in the circuit and thus you can control the brightness of the LED. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to create an LED dimmer circuit using a 9 volt battery, a
potential meter, a current limited resistor, and a 2 volt green LED. Thanks for watching.